How's it going? My name is Dan Kinegi. This is Max Doggett from Wolfhound Martial Arts Academy. Today we're going to be talking about looking at the side chancery. Okay. The chancery is an old school technique. Uh, basically, it refers to headlocks. Uh, they used to used to be called head and chance, head and chancery. Okay. There's a couple different ways of doing it: forward, side, standing, reverse. Today we're going to look at the side chancery. Okay or the side headlock, okay? The side chancery in bare knuckle boxing was a very integral technique, uh, very devastating, very, very powerful, high percentage technique, okay? It is usually attained from the over-under clinch, okay? This is the most common type of clinch up in, in boxing. So we want to look at it from here. The chancery from here, let's turn around. The chancery, what I'm going to do is I want to spin through and get the headlock. Okay? In order to do that, from my over-under, I'm going to direct my opponent to the opposite direction of my overarm. I want to bring, start pushing his head, bring him down. When he resists, allow it to pop up and through. Okay. As that happens, I'm going to spin inside, getting the headlock. Now, when we have the headlock, a couple thing elements you want to remember. First thing is you want him twisted. Your opponent twisted. Okay. So we want to have his. You want his hips square and his head twist, his head bent towards you. So his chin is sitting on your pectoral muscle. Okay. Your hand is going to come around like, the blade of the hand is going to come around the side of his face and turn his head. You want his chin underneath. Okay, so here we have our headlock. The next element is to bring the head down to waist level, so we need to sit into it. Okay. Here we have his, his, his body twisted. I have the blade of my arm going through his mandible. And I have his head down at his waist level, taking away his leverage. Okay, from here, his face pointing towards me, completely open and exposed to come in with strikes. So with that being said, let's take a look at it. So we're clinched up. I misdirect. Spin through. Sit down. Okay. Attaining the side chance. Okay. So, like I said, his face is nice and exposed. Now, when I come in with my strikes, I don't want to just come in with these dead whippy arm punches. You know, I really want to put generate power into the punch. So from here, we track our hand. When we come in with the strike, I'm going to rotate my fist outwards to come in with the knuckles to the face. Uh, target area is going to be the nose, the brows, the eyes, the cheeks, anywhere I'm going to get. Okay. Like I said, I also have a face lock where I can tap them out. Okay, and then from here, when I'm done striking, I, I bring up underneath the shelf of my back, I'm gonna stand up and bring them over for our takedown. So let's look at it one more time. Nice wide sumo style squat. Utilize your thigh, okay, to really trap him in there. Get him then half and get all his and carry all your weight on his neck. Okay, strike underneath and on the ground. Okay, so there is 
besides cancer. 